interrupted my set and didn't approach with respect. Yeah, I'm using it. I'm using it. My stuff is right there. What are you talking about? I'm using my stuff is right there. I'm using it. But I literally waited for you, bro. No, 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 no. I waited for somebody to show up to the machine, bro. No, no, no. I'm using it, bro. Come on. Watch out. What are you talking about, bro? You wasn't here for like a good solid two minutes. If someone's stuck with the machine, that means they're using it. Yeah, but you have no ownership over this machine, bro. That mean nothing. I'm here. So you're the owner of the gym, yes or no? Can you move? Man, the gym can be a toxic place. It's funny because that's the last place on earth you'd expect to harbor any sort of toxic behavior. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, man, toxic gym culture is still a thing and it exists. So if you go to the gym, you know what I mean? If you don't go to the gym, well, you should go, but you're gonna encounter this. So be, be warned, be prepared for it, all right? What's up, dude? Yeah, Man, oh man, <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Is it the guy that's running on this first video or is it the guy that's chasing him? Like the dude that's chasing him is like, he got into like a whole boxer stance while running. Like I never seen any boxer running like this, bro. I mean, unless you're Mayweather, I guess, but <laughs> it's kind of funny, bro. But I mean, bro, like you do realize that like your gym membership can get revoked, right? If you're fighting in the gym, the owner can literally re revoke your membership. And I'm guessing y'all were probably arguing over weights or something. <laughs> you know, I never understand people that want to square up in the gym. I mean, it's 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 funny as it is. It's like, bro, I I get it. People are watching. Maybe you feel like you're a wrestler. Maybe you feel like you're in a wrestling arena. But at the end of the day, it's like, imagine you're the one that's initiating the fight, and you get your ass knocked down. Now everybody gonna see you. Now everybody gonna take pictures and all. And now you become the laughing stock of this environment. And another thing here is if you guys really, you know, got heated and you want to square up and deal with it, man, go outside, bro. Matter of fact, don't even be in front of the gym, though. Go outside in some back alley, bro. You know, at least if you get pwned, nobody's going to see your ass for one. And for two, man, your gym can't come up with any BS to discontinue your membership or ban you. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> some people, bro, they be so wild out here. They fighting anywhere, anytime. For what? for over five pound dumbbells for over machines nah man if like like if this got under your skin or whatever the argument was you guys should take it outside bro and yo i never understand why there's people out there like they would spend 10 minutes bro going back and forth you want to go outside you want to go outside you want to go outside it's like bro you all could be outside by now instead of each of you like shouting about going outside why don't you both go out damn outside bro you know all the time you will see this bro when two guys are arguing at a gym they're gonna puff up their chest bro and they're gonna be screaming about going outside but nobody's going outside bro everybody's just there back and forth about going outside <laughs> at the end bro you get so tired you're like damn so when are y'all actually gonna go outside <laughs> why don't one of you start walking outside and the other maybe will follow but no bro they're just gonna talk the talk but they won't walk the talk you know what i'm saying it's, it's kind of weird bro I was laughing hard as hell, bro, watching my man here running like this with a boxer stance, <laughs> trying to throw punches and watching the other guy running. Like, this is just comedy, bro. <laughs> if I was the owner of the gym and I was watching this, bro, I'd be laughing, bro. I'd be like actually re-watching this with popcorn a second time because it's so funny. It's comedy at its best. Jim Rett gets mad and thinks he owns the machine. I waited to see if anyone was you. Jim Rett gets mad and thinks he owns the machine. I waited to see if anyone was using it. A book bag doesn't secure your spot on a machine, people. Interrupted my set and didn't approach with respect. Yeah, I'm using it. I'm using it. My stuff is right there. What are you talking about? I'm using my stuff is right there. I'm using it. But I literally waited for you, bro. No, 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 no. I waited for somebody to show up to the machine, bro. No, no, no. I'm using it, bro. Come on. Watch out. What watch are out, you watch talking out. about, bro? You wasn't here for like a good Yo, solid two minutes, bro. If someone's stuck with the machine, that means they're using it. Yeah, but you have no ownership over this machine, that mean, bro. That don't mean nothing. I'm so, here. So you're the owner of the gym, yes or no? Yo, can you move? But what are you talking I'm gonna about? I'm going to move you, bro. I have my camera ready. I don't care. I don't care about the camera, bro. You want to step outside? Yo, we out, bro. What's up? Yeah, man. First things first. All I got to say is my dude here had his equipment there first. Um... 
so you're on the wrong technically because it's you already see he has his book bag there it's not like you didn't see it he has his book bag he has like jug of water in the corner there you already see he's using it bro <sighs> and i think you knew what you were doing because you set up your camera you're walking you're looking left right you start working out i think you you wanted this to get confrontational and the guy comes and tells you he's working out there and instead of you apologizing or asking if you guys can just share the damn machine bro now you're trying to argue like it doesn't, doesn't make you right now at first i was on your case because i said yo maybe the dude left his bag there for like an hour or two bro and you've been waiting for ages bro and the dude ain't showing up so maybe it could have been anybody's bag just put aside so maybe nobody's using the machine you know i was like maybe that's the case but that's that doesn't seem like it because you said you were waiting for two minutes you know so two minutes is not long enough maybe the dude went to the washroom bro maybe he drank bad protein bro you know he had to to to, to empty his belly you know but uh that's not an excuse for you to just jump on his machine and not even apologizing for it not even asking if you can work out like you know what i'm saying that's the thing i don't get now i get it like if you didn't know and you jumped in that's a different case but you knew what you were doing matter of fact you even tell him you have a camera recording it's like what what for it's not until he tells you you want to go outside and that's when you decide to get off the machine that's kind of you're kind of a clown for this man i mean i'm not even on your side at all right you've seen the dude's personal belongings right there right yeah, dude probably went to get water went to get something he literally that shows you the machine's actually literally being used you just didn't want to acknowledge that you wanted to be right you wanted to i don't know start some kind of beef but that's not the correct way to approach it and i gotta say yo this happens to me all the time bro like if i leave my bag and whatever headphones or whatever right there beside a machine and i go to do something fill my water bottle or i go to the washroom or something bro and i come back and somebody's on it for the most cases like 90 percent of the time people are actually nice you know they apologize for it they ask you know if they could work it and why not and i do the same too but uh there's been a few cases where some dudes would sit there and they would like argue as if they're on the right it's like dude you wanted to use a machine you saw my stuff right there you ignored my stuff you jumped on my machine just because i wasn't there for like two seconds you know now all of a sudden you're trying to argue over a machine that i was already using like who's on the wrong it's not like i was gone for 45 minutes and it's not like there's not other machines you could use and wait till I'm done my set. You know what I'm saying? I never understood how people would come and just jump in your machine and then argue as if they're on the right. Holy shit, bro. That move is good. What's there's that? green ones over there that are 50s. Oh, really? Yeah. 50 kg? Yeah, they're along the wall. I've never used them. Right behind him on the middle lap. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. Hey, man, I think she was actually being nice for once. I don't think she was trying to attack you. I don't. I didn't hear anything. She wasn't really rude about it. She didn't really said anything wrong. She just probably seeing you stacking your bar with so many weights, and she's trying to make your job easier. Because at the same time, if this is a small gym and you're using all the plates, bro, some people need plates, bro. You know, maybe she needed some plates you're using, but maybe she's just trying to be, you know, she's trying to give you some courtesy and tell you exactly where the other ones are, which are heavier. So instead of you putting like 20 plates, you're gonna have a fraction of that, right? Saves you time and energy of racking it up and re rack So I mean, I don't know what you're trying to start here, right? Like I see here, you're telling her, calling her Jim Carrey. I mean, for one, she's not screaming. She's not rude about it. She's not swearing. She's not aggressive up in your face. She's not even saying anything. She's just telling you where to find ones which are heavier. And you claim you didn't even know where the 50 kgs are. She's just being helpful. So I don't see anything wrong with this, bro. I think you're just trying to be dramatic what's up big Robbie? so can i ask you real quick what's your weight this year uh 292 292 how tall 180 is it cool if we check it real quick is it cool if we check it your weight yeah oh just to check it you don't want to check it oh we checked it it works <laughs> I told you the truth. I think we have come to check on. It's not respect. Oh no, it's respectful. We just do it to everybody. If you ask me about anything, and I tell you something, you have to trust me. So what I said to you. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. I don't think he's said it. And on this last video here, I get it. Like, yo, you, you're recording. You're trying to get content for your video, whatever it is. But I mean, Big Rami, he's a champion, bro. You know? He's an athlete. He has nothing to prove to you. He probably doesn't even know who you are, bro. You just want to ask to take a picture with him first. And then now you're trying to 
you know, recording with video and all that, and now you're bringing a scale out, trying to catch him slipping just in case he's a few pounds lighter than he told you so you can make a headline and a video about it. Like, that's not cool, man. Whatever he told you, you should take his word for it. He has nothing to lie to you about. What is he going to get from you? And I think he's smart for not stepping on that scale because the moment he steps on that scale, let's say he was like, you know, 0.5 pounds lighter than what he actually told you it was you'd make a big deal about it you'd you know go on and try to make fun of him like he's smart for not complying to your demands first things first if the cameras weren't there bro maybe he would do it second thing second you didn't really explain why you wanted to step on the scale like you could have said yo like yeah i don't know i want to see i want to show my audience in case they're lying or something in case they don't believe or something like that you didn't even give him an explanation you just pull out a scale and you want him to qualify himself to you he doesn't have to you know he told you whether you believe him or not is up to you so i mean i don't know what you're trying to get out of this video but i respect him for that bro and imagine that too like imagine somebody's coming and asking you a question about like how much do you bench or how much you lift and then you tell them the number and then all of a sudden they're trying to verify it you know by trying to get you to demonstrate it with that exact weight it's like well, you're trying to make me look stupid in front of a camera or what like what are you trying to do <laughs> some guys are so corny like this man that's the thing about all these cameras and social media game and trying to go viral you know trying to get clout some people are not even genuine like that like it's kind of wild bro <laughs> yeah. Dude, this fight is comedy, ain't it? Right? Like, look at it. Like, at first I thought it was a joke, man. I thought these guys were probably buddies and horsing around, but <laughs> it's not until I saw this dude in a Mike Tyson type of stance, and I was like, damn, bro, this must be serious, bro. Because when you see dude like that moving like this, you know, it looks a little bit like he's knowledgeable with them jabs, you know? You think it's like a real thing, bro. But then I didn't see anybody swing. I was like, man, what kind of fight is this? But it's not until the end here where the dude's walking away, bro, and you swing. How do you miss? How do you miss from somebody walking away from you? <laughs> that's embarrassing, man. And, and you're caught on video to do that. Like, that's hilarious, man. Like, you couldn't even, you know, like, get him there or something. Like, the dude ducked while he's walking away. That's how I know bad of a fighter you are, bro. Like, you gotta work on your stances and your movements and all. I mean, I get it, he's short, but <laughs> this doesn't help your case whether he was on the right or you were on the right at the initial point of this fight now you look like a total clown you know whether maybe he disrespected you maybe he started this maybe he ignited this whole thing but the fact that you even missed damn bro that's hilarious ain't it but anyways man that's the video for the day guys make sure you click the like button comment let me know what y'all thought about these videos man but yeah this whole gym culture thing bro this toxic gym culture is still a thing bro still exists still goes around but uh, yeah, you're gonna see it at some point if you haven't. But anyways, till next time, easy.